Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Commander Hall. Hopefully you guys is having a great night. Uh, it's currently almost 1 a.m. here in Florida and uh, I'm just taking a brief break. So I figured I'd make this video uh, for you guys. Uh, in this video, guys, um, we're going to talk about the different cultures. You know, the differences between working in a Section 8 or hood environment compared to working in a more upscale environment now we're going to focus more on the responses from the residents uh going from you know like i said section eight to upscale luxury apartment homes or condos or whatever you want to call it um you guys know i have done both i have years of experience going both ways so i can kind of tell you guys uh the differences um Currently where I'm at now, I am in a upscale luxury apartment home uh, community and we have different rules and regulations out here and I enforce those. I am very strict with me enforcing the rules and regulations. Uh, I'm very humble. I'm very soft spoken about it. I'm not aggressive or mean or anything like that, but I'm able to successfully get my point across. And in these type of environments, um, the residents respect you more. They like, OK, cool. They don't really give you a hard time. It's not really much backlash or junk talking or threatening or anything like that. When you ask them to do a simple task such as slow down or your music is too loud or the pool area is closed or whatever the case may be. They don't they don't typically too much give you a hard time. Honestly, I haven't really had any bad experiences in these type of communities um, from the residents, per se, at all. But once you transition to the Section 8 apartments or the hood apartments, whatever you want to call them, it's a big difference for whatever reason. And sometimes it's nothing wrong with where you started at. It's all about where you end up at. Um, some people be born and raised in the hood, you know, the Section 8 apartments, you know, rough sides of town, stuff like that. And that's cool. But when you make it out of that, and you make the adjustment to more of the upscale apartments, a lot of times they bring that hood mentality or that street mentality along with them to the upscale apartments and they cause problems. Now, where I live at currently, that's one of the issues we have. We have a lot of different races, people from different cultures, all this kind of stuff in there. But a lot of the main issues come from the people who you can tell started in the hood you know started in those low income areas and then making the transition to more of the upscale apartments they keep that hood mentality and they don't know how to uh respond to a authority figure and a lot of times that response is negative so when you in the section eight community that's all those guys know they have a street mentality and not I'm not saying everyone who live in those type of communities are like that. Not everyone, guys. There are some very respectful, some very nice people. Um, I grew up in like a hood area and everyone wasn't like that. You know what I mean? So I'm not saying that at all, guys. But for the most part, you get a lot of backlash. You get a lot of uh, negative feedback, you know, just from simple things, guys. Uh, a prime example. Um, here where I'm at now, tonight, I asked a young lady. I said, hey, you know, the pool was closed at 10, you know, blah, blah, blah. She was like, oh, I'm sorry. No problem. She grabbed her things and she left. I did the same thing in a Section 8 community one time and they gave me hell. I mean, raising the voice, you know, cussing, you know, all this stuff. And I'm doing my job at the end of the day. And you have to understand a lot of times in that community, they don't care about you doing your job. They want what they want. They're going to do what they're going to do or they're not going to do whatever. It, it, it's just more like they program to be that way. You know, they don't care about authority figure being over them. They don't care about rules and, you know, regulations. They don't care about any of that. You know, their mind is just they have a very aggressive uh, personality, you know, uh, very rude a lot of times or whatever. So it is a big difference. That's why the liability is a lot higher in those type of communities, not only because of the locations in the crime, but a lot of times those people are just angry people, angry. You know, uh, I told you guys stories before, you know, something simple. Hey, can you, you know, turn the music down and music is a little too loud. 
Instead of them turning the music down, they're turning the music up even louder and talking trash to you at the same time. So as a security officer in those type of communities, a lot of times you have to get law enforcement involved more than you would like to. And it creates a negative um, vibe towards you and the people in the community because now they're looking at you as a snitch or this, that, and the other. And it's not that you are snitch or anything like that. At the end of the day, you have a job to do. You're getting paid to do a job. When these clients say, hey, I don't want this, I don't want that, whatever, it's our job to go out there and enforce it. And it's their job to listen to us. But a lot of times in those Section 8 communities, guys, they won't do it. They won't do it. And if you call the authorities on them and you build up that reputation and you're doing your job at the end of the day, a lot of times they will try to figure out a way to retaliate against you. So you definitely have to be careful in those type of environments, guys. So um, I just wanted to just kind of just discuss the differences between uh, more of the upscale communities compared to like maybe the low income communities and everything. Because like I said, I did both. And um, it's a huge difference, guys. It's like the it's it, the whole culture, the people in the communities is just too. It's like they from two different sides of the world. You know what I mean? So, anyways, guys, as always, leave comments down below. Share with me your thoughts on this. If you guys have worked more of the upscale communities compared to working to the Section Eight communities, let me know, guys. The good, bad, the ugly. That's it for this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and I see you guys in the next video.